I'm about to go out and uh, I'm gonna grab my film. I actually had Josh put some film into uh, into development for me uh, to get developed and scan and all that stuff. And I'm gonna go pick it up today. This is my film camera. Um, I guess I was gonna talk about film today, maybe film photography and um, and um, just stuff like that. I'm actually going to get some coffee today uh, with a friend of mine, and then I'll probably go by and pick up my film. And uh, while I do that, I'll probably take a couple pictures, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. right now and go find a place to shoot and then we're gonna pick up some film um, and probably drop off some film too nice little talk here um, we're gonna go and probably, we'll probably take my car we'll take my car, <laughs> we'll take my car. To, do you know what this place is called? No? No, it's, a, it's a, one of the Main Street Station. Yeah. Street. All right, so we're going to call this Main Street Station. <laughs> we're going to head over to Main Street Station. Apparently, it's supposed to be open to the public for a few hours during the day. We're going to see. Uh, if we get kicked out, uh, I don't think we should. But if we do, it's, it's whatever. We're going to head off and uh, pick up some film. I got a roll that I want to finish right now, and then I have a roll that I need to pick up. So, here we go. All right, so we're actually just having some fun right now, uh, taking pictures of each other. There's Josh, there's Irvin right there getting some photographs. Um, I just ran out of film, so I took a couple shots with my film camera in here. Um, this, this, this lighting is amazing. So I'm gonna take this film out, put it in a new film. Um, you only get like 36 shots with film cameras, which is, which is cool. But I think areas like this, getting shots in areas like this, are gonna be so dope um, because you got good lighting, you got good scenery, um, and I feel like the film photographs will look so nostalgic in a place like this. pictures I shot a little bit of film a little bit of digital I uh, got some cool shots for Instagram and all that uh, this place is dope look at the train right here nice place now we're gonna go get our film or my film probably put a roll in and also uh, get a roll that I already shot Josh how do you feel about film photography what do you think about its uses and why is this so dark film photography uh, one it makes you slow down two it kind of separates you from the back of uh, staring at the back of your camera and separates you from like that. <laughs> Picked up my roll and I was a little bit worried about it, but looking at it in the sunlight, it actually came out pretty good, I think, right? Yeah, I see images. <laughs> I think. Uh, we saw images, so um, actually it cost me $14 to get this process. Um, the roll film scans were eight dollars. The roll film processing was four dollars. So it wasn't bad. Fourteen dollars for one roll. I just dropped off another roll. Hopefully that one comes out good as well. So um, now we're gonna head out. Is somebody phone ringing? Mr. Birds. Okay. Never mind. All right. So I just got home. I have to pull out these and check them out. See how they look. I, this is my first time actually getting film developed this way. I usually get it developed 
actually, I was doing it all myself. Originally, I would have one of those little developer tanks, and I'll mix it, mix all the chemicals myself, and develop the film myself. But I didn't really get, I didn't really get good at it, and I was tired of wasting film. Like if I messed up, I messed up my whole entire roll. So I figured it's better to do it this way. Get somebody who knows what they're doing to just go ahead and develop your film. It's worth it. You don't lose all your photographs. Um, it's not that expensive. It's only $14. Uh, so I think it's well worth it. But it's definitely a cost that you want to think of when going into film photography. Do you really want to have to do all of this for one roll of film? I think this is a bit much. It would be nice if it was just like a USB or if I had an online account or something with them. Um, it will be much more, in my opinion, better for it to be online. You could just pull the images offline. Um, instead, I have to go there when they're ready and pick them up. Also, not a lot of people have like CD drives anymore. I definitely don't use them. This is the only computer in my house that has a CD drive. You can also buy one, like a, a USB um, disk drive that can come with your computer. But I have no other need for them other than, than really this. All right, guys, I gotta be completely honest with you. Today was a great day. We had a lot of fun. We went out and we got a lot of pictures. Um, I actually was able to take off all of my pictures from my hard drive, my CD, and get them actually from the CD and put them on my hard drive. And uh, I gotta be honest with you guys, <laughs> it was complete disaster. First, I'll just let you go ahead and take a look at some of these pictures. And yes, that's what happened. I, I don't want you, you don't want to see them. Basically, half of the pictures were blurred out and that's the troubles of film but it makes you kind of be a little bit more a little bit more real with yourself learn your camera don't skip any steps take your time slow down that's what film photography is all about and uh lessons like this is um it's part of film photography. This is what happened. This is my camera. It is the Olympus OM-10, and it is a pretty simple camera. I bought this on either eBay or Amazon for about 150 bucks. I thought this was all there was, and it didn't come with anything else. It just came with this. The problem is that there was more to it. <laughs> Actually, this right here is a little adapter um, that has a shutter speed. Um, so you attach a shutter speed dial to this adapter and that allows you to adjust your shutter speed. You cannot shoot in manual mode without it. I should have known because it says right here on the menu options, it says manual adapter. Yeah, I was in bulb mode when I shot all of those shots on that film. So what happened was I was getting a, a variant in my shutter speed because the shutter was going off of my finger. So however long I held down the shutter was however long my shutter stayed open, which calls for motion blur when my hands moved. Um, so that's what happened to a majority of the roll. But I did have a couple of pictures that came out okay. And they actually show a little bit of what the film look would look like or or how film looks after it's developed. And I think it looks pretty great. I love how it looks. I love the grain. I love the little, like, the little nuances in film that you get. So there was a, there was actually some other pictures, um, but I can't show you those because my wife will probably kill me if I showed you those. They're not like, they're not like that, but they're, they're not something that she would want to show. But anyway, I'm going to do a film series, a film camera series. Um, this is a, partly because I want to learn more about film, but also partly because I feel like um, there needs to be more information out there so you guys can get into the film game. I think it really helps. I actually didn't get a chance to ask Irvin what he thought about film. Next time we meet up with him, we'll talk to him about some other stuff. But um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that like it doesn't always work out. And this is my first time shooting with film in like 10 in like 10 years, guys. It's been like 10 years since I picked up this camera. I wasn't even thinking like it was in the wrong mode. I was just shooting, right? 
Um, so know your film camera, know everything about it, do some research, don't be a dummy like me. We'll do a film series, we'll talk about film cameras, um, from everything from like loading the film to what type of film to buy and what type of camera to buy, um, just how to get developed, all that stuff. This is to start it, all right? Hope you guys are interested in it. I am. I like it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.